Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That is me. The Bubba. That is me. On this evolutionary. Revolutionary rise. I'm gonna put it at this time. And so. Hello. I took mighty long to hit that record button again. But I am putting to death. My friends. That. Procrastination. And. Not just flowing into that kind of um flow <laughs> yes my Sheila it's that time of the month again where we all get new moon singing it's a part of everything that we are. These energies that exist all around that they want the babbler to find ways to communicate, educate. Seed, marinate. Through the birth of whatever expression expresses itself through me, the conscious part of me, along with the stream of consciousness that flows through me, that is external from me, and yet I tap in. And allow for the stream to speak. That is them. That is me. Distinguishing. The discerning of these oceans of emotions because I'm so potent in these departments that one day I woke up and I was just like you know free is me to allow my expression of feels that I process for real and so uncomfortable they may be, but strong as I to be able to deliver that line that hurts inside. Besides just that. For whatever reason, the babbles I speak as colorful as they can be, and some people, you know, they'd be like, huh, what did she say? So those are not the people that we're talking to today. Um, but those that um, do and can even comprehend how they even understood, and they'd be like, whoa, you know, um, yeah. Lately, I've been inspired by, you know, some um, social media um Big shots, or I don't know, or that's the name that came into my mind as I was speaking it at this time, and I just allowed it to flow and grow. You know, I sent it out there like it's not impersonal, but um, they are artists in their own right, clearly, and in the spotlight, and um, the language that they speak is just as poetic as me. And I'm like, I see, you know? And so, I got my lab coat on. And while in the lab, 
in this wonderland, wherever we're at in the space continuum of perceived reality, wherever we are, whatever this is, awaken to this. We are made to process this and experience this. Observe it too. Learn from it too. Grow from it. Evolve. And what's being asked for many of us on these lands is to go through the process for our progress in every kind of way. Can we be open to the expression of the process that is part of your learning journey too? So, yeah, we're in the lab, in class, and no teacher has arrived. Until they do. But they're always in school. And so... I felt my shoulders tense and I just remembered to breathe. Prior to being so active on like even just YouTube or any kind of video or any kind of platform that um, I can share vocally or in video as opposed to just visual and written because writer is I. That's where I gravitate towards first. The introvert that writes her soul alive, channeling through the divine. That has always been my go-to in this life, along with singing and dancing. These forms of expression that naturally were born through me. It has never fleed, it has never, it's never left. Even in my sleep. Right? And so, because of, you know, just comparing and contrasting and conditioning and, and lack thereof of my own acceptance of myself in all my forms, you know, not allowing myself to express myself you know, with ancient wisdom. <laughs> um, allow myself to express myself freely because I didn't feel good enough you know and so breaking past that 
and just say, funk it. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do. And so it was a process in my own progress. In the beginning, I couldn't watch back any of my videos, and so I did not because then I would delete it if I did. So it was best that I didn't. So I'm loving sit there and rock. And it took that process of a progress to however long that took. I didn't time it, I didn't clock it. It was, I don't, I'm not. In the lab, I'm not that scientist. Like, for humanity in that kind of way. Like, I don't dock you 55 minutes late. I don't vibrate that way, like that, in that kind of way. <laughs> Human. Um. Silly system, you know? Time is of the essence. <laughs> Everything matters. And so, um, yeah, so that took time. And then finally I started watching back some, mm, that was, that took time. <laughs> and then, slowly but surely, little by little, even with the support and encouragement from those around me, and even from the rejection from those around me, those closest to me are like, you know, um, the ones you would want to share or, like, encourage you or support or watch or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Promote, <laughs> right? Like, being shunned energetically even through that, like, you know, um, from people that you're like, whoa, let me take a step back. You know, this discernment that is presenting itself through our experience of having an experience that gives us the opportunity to put into good practice the things that we pick up and receive and know, just know when we Dial up, dial in to this ancient wisdom. Nature is the perfect place to center yourself and ground out any excessive noise in your head. In nature, all the secrets of the universe are held. From the fire, fiercest energy of a raging sea in a storm to the nurturing and loving energy of a hundred-year-old grove of trees. Get out in nature and listen to what she has to tell you. There is much to learn from nature. Trees just want to be trees. They are not trying to be boulders. Deer are just deer. They accept that. Wolves are wolves. They know no other way. They do not try to get an extreme makeover to become a bear. This energy vibration can be so different than the human experience. It is pure love, non-judgment, and acceptance. When you tap into the ancient wisdom of the natural world, you find peace within yourselves. You get to know thyself. By drawing this card, you're being asked to come to peace with who you are and what you have to offer in this situation. And so, yeah. It happened. 31. Omens. You know, I used to avoid certain feelings that I had in regards to truths that I wasn't ready for. And like, let's say I would avoid the cards for myself that day because I already knew what could come out that I didn't want to know. And so then I only know. And certain things too, because we can be so fear-based conditioned, Certain cards, like when people get the tower or the death card or, you know, these cards that they associate or have heard through the grapevine that, ooh, these are not that nice. Please note that there's a flip side to every single card in every single tarot or oracle. That just because you're being presented with one half of...